Hi, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'll be talking about the interesting updates released to metrics visuals in Microsoft Power BI. Now, if you've been following up to, if you've been keeping up to date with the most recent changes, you know that Power BI releases updates every month where they release new and cool, interesting features in Power BI. Now, one feature which I'm sure a whole lot of Excel users as well will be specifically happy for is this new metric visual with Power BI. Now, for you to be able to carry out this feature, it's important to note you need to first turn it on in the preview setting. You can go to your file tab on my screen. Then after you go to your file tab, click on your options and settings, click on your options. In the moment you click on your options, you get the option the dialog box to show your show you the various options you have in Power BI. You can just scroll down to the preview features. Now there are a whole lot of preview features which we'll probably be talking about them in subsequent videos as well. But for this demo, I will just be talking about the metric visual preview feature. So you can check the metrics visual. You can check it is the new update it relates to that as well. We'll be talking about the others in the subsequent video. Then you just click on OK. Once you click on OK, it will prompt you to close your Power BI file. Once you close that, you should be, once you close that and open it again, you should be good to go. Now, what can you do with this update? Now, so this is a sample data I have on my screen, the simple Power BI sample data that anybody can use when you just open Power BI file click on sample data, you'll be able to use this data as well. So I have this data on my screen, just a simple, this is like the segments. Let me click on this field so we see, and click on the table so we see what the fields that are on the table. We have the segments, we have the sales, the month's name, the product, and the segments. So just a simple report on my screen. now. I also have this in pivot table in Excel, so we can see it side by side, the difference. So this is the pivot table version in Excel as well. Now, one thing we note that we like to do in pivot table, let's say for instance, I want to see this other field as a separate column on its own. What we typically do in pivot table is we click on report layout and we can click on show in Let's just show in outline form and we get something like this, or we could click on report layout, show in tabular form. We get something like this. Now, we can do this now in Power BI basically with the new update. So pivot table lovers, you should be really excited with this update to Power BI. Now, I'll go back to Power BI. On the Power BI on my screen, I'll just click on the, cha on the chart which I have here. Now under, of, under the visual options, it's already showing by the way, you'll see something called layout and style presets. Then under this layout and style presets, you can just click on this drop down to change it from compact to outline, for example, which you get something like that to change it to, um, let's say tabular, you get something like this. Now it's important to note, if you want to repeat Header, something like we can do in our good old Excel as well. When you check this, you can do repeat all items labels. You can also do that in Power BI now as well. So under the layout, you you check. Let I'm using Tabla. I can click on repeat to headers, and we have that. So that's just a simple update which was released in the May version of Power BI update. I'll be talking about other updates in subsequent videos. So please stay tuned. I give this video a like. Thank you.